Hi guys, it's Lori. Today is Vlogus Day 9. Um, I couldn't decide exactly what to talk about today, so I'm just going to start gabbing and see what comes out of my mouth. <laughs> um, today I'm on the third day of my very low calorie day, which is VLCD in the HCG world. But I know I have some followers that aren't HCG people, so um, kind of explaining it a little bit as I go. Um, yeah, I'm on VLCD3 today, and let's see, the first day you don't have a loss because you've fat loaded and, and you haven't been on the low calorie days yet. So yesterday, being day two, I was down, down 3.2 pounds, and today I was down 1.2. Now that's not going to keep up like that. At first... It's the water weight coming off. You guys know about that, I'm sure. Even if even if you're not HCG people, when you first start a diet, a lot of times the water weight comes off first. Um, and that's what happens with this, too. And I made some chicken in the crock pot. It was so good. I wish I would have recorded it. I, and I, I need to write it down before I forget what I put in it because I just kind of threw it together. Normally, I would do... It was one of those big family packs of chicken. And normally I would put in like a can of Rotel and some taco seasoning, which I make my own taco seasoning. It's not the packets. I make my own because then it's just like just the spices. It doesn't have the MSG in it or any sugars or starches or anything like that. No preservatives. So I like to make my own. Um, I put a bunch of taco seasoning in it. And since I didn't have any Rotel, I put in a can. I used a can of tomato paste and I put it in a bowl so I could, you know, like, stir it up and get it thinned down a little bit and I had some turkey broth in my freezer so I got out a container of that and it was just a little over a cup maybe a cup and a fourth of turkey broth and I um, thawed that out and I mixed it together with the tomato paste and I put in a whole bunch of taco seasoning it was a really good amount probably a third of a cup like it was a lot and then I also threw in some um, some crushed red peppers couldn't think of it but I threw in some crushed red peppers pretty generous amount of those too. It's it's nice and spicy. It's got a good spice to it, which is good when especially when I'm on the low calorie days because then it forces me to drink more water. <laughs> but I think that's all I put in it. And it turned out fabulous. Everybody loves it. Even even my youngest loves it and he's picky. So he actually had it on a tortilla shell and made a wrap out of it with some cheese on it. Um, he had that last night. So and that looked really good. Of course, I'm not having the cheese or the wraps or anything like that right now. But I had the chicken and I had some green beans with that last night. And the the sauce that's in it, um, there's a lot of sauce. So I don't want to waste that sauce. So tonight I'm going to make like sort of a version of the crack slaw you see. But I don't really like like soy sauce and stuff. So... I'm just going to do it with, I bought a bag of coleslaw mix, so I'm going to use the bag of coleslaw mix, I'm going to do ground beef, and whenever I season my ground beef, I'm going to pour some of that sauce over it and let it cook up in there nice, and I'm going to add that sauce to my crack slaw, my, it's some kind of weird version of crack slaw that I just decided to make up tonight, so, we'll see how you know, I have my keys sitting right here in front of me, I had... A few people comment and say something about Aldi's and the quor the quarters that you use in the carts. Um, some people don't have Aldi stores around them, so they've never been to one. And I'm just going to tell you about it, even though most of you guys probably already know about the quarter in the Aldi's cart. Um, yeah, they just, the only people that work there are the cashiers. So the cashiers are the shelf stockers. They clean the place. They unload the trucks. They, they take out the trash. They do it all. So they work their butts off. So they don't have time to be going out and collecting carts. You put a quarter in the cart, you know. On my, one of my videos, it was in the beginning of my video where I'm putting the cart away and getting my quarter out. Well, when you put your cart away, you get your quarter back. So it's kind of like a key, you know. <laughs> but if you leave that cart sit out in the parking lot, some kid's going to see it sitting out there. And he's going to say, oh, I got a quarter. Yeah. You know, it's only 25 cents, but still, you get a quarter. And kids think that's cool. Yeah, well, I think that's cool. <laughs> but anyways, I gotta show you my keychain. That's why my keys are sitting here. So, here's my keys. Here's my keychain. <laughs> look at this. Got this from Etsy. Look at 
what's in here? If I can get hold of it. It's my quarter. It's my Aldi's quarter. Everybody knows you don't mess with mom's Aldi's quarter, okay? I have a jar of change on my dresser in my bedroom. And if somebody needs it, I don't care if they take it. But don't mess with my Aldi's quarter. Everybody knows that. So I went to Aldi's a couple days ago, and this is what the front of one of the Aldi stores that I go to looks like right now. Obviously, they're remodeling. I'm not sure exactly what it's going to look like inside, but the cashier said it's going to be awesome. So I'm excited to see what it looks like. But there's signs posted all over the store that say that this weekend, at, on Saturday or Sunday, they're on Saturday or Sunday they're going to close at 3 o'clock and they're going to be closed for six weeks it's like oh my god six weeks that's a long time but anyway I do have other Aldi's that I can go to but um, one in particular that I go to most often so what they're doing since they're going to be closed for all that time for the inconvenience they're handing out these coupons and they're good at three different Aldi stores one of which I go to most frequently five dollars off the thirty dollar purchase and they're good until October 2nd I think yeah, they're good until October 2nd, from now until October 2nd. So I'll definitely use these, definitely. And then yesterday I was at that in that same town, so I went to that same Aldi again because I forgot to pick up some, I needed a couple cases of water. So I picked them up and they gave me three more coupons. These were ripped apart for whatever reason, but yeah, they gave me three more. It's like, okay, that's kind of cool. So I've got six $5 off coupons, $5 off of a $30 purchase. So, I'm kind of excited about that, because, you know, I'm frugal anyway, so, heck yeah. I'll get $30 worth of stuff at a time so I can use my coupon. Because <laughs> God knows I can spend more than $30 on groceries when I shop at Aldi, so. Anyway, and I didn't do a grocery haul. I probably should have. Would have been a good video for Vlogist, but I didn't, because I was in a hurry, and I needed to just get them put away and go. So, um... Yeah, I think that's about it for today. I just wanted to hop on and do my Vlogist 9th video. So, alright guys, see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. See ya.